The job of a soldier is by London Soft. The job of a soldier is to carry on big guns and to help people when they need it. They also go on the whole world and work and be far away from their family. The job of the soldier is hard. They work and they're nice. What is a job of a soldier by Cody Nagel? They take place of other people when they die. They help each other when they get hurt. They make walls so the other people don't get them. They left their family. I think it is sad that they have to leave their family. What's the job of a soldier by Corbin Lantis? A job of a soldier is to protect cities from people that are trying to hurt them. Some of the soldiers are doctors and nurses. If a soldier gets hurt, other soldiers help them survive. Soldiers rescue people if they are captured. I show my respect for our soldiers every day at school when I say the pledge. What is the job of a soldier by Natalie Pearson? The job of a soldier is to save people's lives. Soldiers help protect people from the bad guys who are trying to hurt them. Soldiers wear special uniforms and carry guns. Their jobs are dangerous. I'm proud of the Army because they are saving the United States and the world. A veteran I know by Scotty Lee Mills. I know a veteran and he is my dad. We used to live in North Carolina. When my dad was in the Army, my dad wore a camouflage uniform every day. On my dad's last day in the military, I went to his work and had chocolate cake and Mountain Dew. Now my dad works with my grandpa Scott fixing cars. A veteran I know by Landon Marnette. I know two veterans and their names are Bobby and Chris. They both wore uniforms. They are nice people. Chris is in my family. I think Bobby is not working there anymore. My Great Grandfather the Scout by Morgan French. My great grandfather's name is John Giesler. He served our country during World War II in Germany. His parents were German immigrants. My great grandfather was the oldest child in the family. He attended school in Plevna, Montana. He would come home from school and teach his family English. During World War II, he served as a scout in Germany. The commanders would send him ahead of the troops. He would sneak up by the Germans to hear what they were saying. He knew the German language very well. He would then go back to the American troops. He was able to tell them the Germans' plan of action. One night, while doing this, he was shot in the foot. He received the Purple Heart Award. He was very proud of this award. He loved to tell this story. What is the job of a soldier by Molly Eaton? Most soldiers have to leave their families. Some even take their families with them. How do they know what to do? They have to go into training for a long time. The kinds of soldiers there are include Army, Navy, Marines, Coast Guards, and the Air Force. When someone gets hurt, another soldier helps them back to camp. Some of the troops take dogs and walk around the camp. They sniff out the area for bad guys. Many men have to help build buildings and other things. The generals lead their troops to war. Mechanics also help the army. If something gets broke, mechanics fix it. The camp also have doctors. Men in the army are all over the world. Our veterans served because they wanted freedom.
What is a job of a soldier? By Colton Nagel. The job of a soldier is when they fight for our country and for freedom. Sometimes they have to leave their families. Sometimes their families can come with them. Some jobs a soldier does is build things and guard things. If someone is hurt, they help him. They train usually for what they're going to do in the army. Some soldiers have to know how to run equipment. My grandpa set the timers on the bombs that went over the enemy. I think it was cool that I knew someone in the army. Also, soldiers need to know how to fix things, just in case something breaks down. They also need to know how to train dogs so the dogs can find bombs and enemies. Some soldiers have to train to be generals because of all the work these soldiers do for me. I wish I could do something for them. Something I would give them is money so they could buy things. I appreciate what the soldiers do for my country. A veteran I know by Meadow Torres. My grandpa Paul is a veteran because he was in the 1962 to 1972 Vietnam War. He got drafted when he was 18 years old. He was going to fight for his country because the North were trying to take over the Southern land. He had to go to boot camp, and they had to shave his head, and they trained for many hard-working days and months. He only got to see his family once per year for six weeks. Every few months, he got five days off, and my grandpa went to China for five days off from Vietnam. He only ate Chinese food and ordered something he didn't like and got sick. He will never eat Chinese food again. Sometimes each session of fight could last two weeks or sometimes it will only last two hours. My grandpa was in the 173rd Airborne Bennett Gate. They wore uniforms that camouflaged them. My grandpa jumped out of an airplane and got injured badly in the leg and was in the hospital for a month. But that didn't stop him. He volunteered to rejoin because he wanted revenge. When he was done, they received medals for their honor and pride. But my grandpa lost them one day, but still searches for them. He told me the war taught him to become a man and be tough and brave. But it also taught him to stay aware at all times. When you get out of the war, it's very hard to adapt back to your normal life because you're used to living a soldier's life. It brings back memories and emotions and the things you do every day and all the pain and bravery they have. That's why we honor all the veterans in the world today. That's one reason why I love my grandpa. A veteran I know by Brock Nelson. A veteran I know is my best friend's mom, Jill Reed. Jill was in Iraq last year. She only got to spend four months with her son before she had to go to Afghanistan, where she is currently stationed. Jill had to leave her son, Justin, with his grandparents while she is in Afghanistan fighting for our country. Meeting Afghan children made her her miss her son my friend Justin I think she is pretty cool because she is a girl in the United States Air Force Jill has a lot of work to do and it is hot in Afghanistan a few of the cool things she gets to do is blow up landmines and ride an armored vehicle. She has gotten to see the Afghan countryside. Jill Reed will be coming home in two months. I will be happy that she gets to come home, but sad that as Jill and her son Justin have to move to Germany, we should all be proud of her for serving our country. A Veteran I Know by Chay Van Dyke. A Veteran I Know is my grandpa. 
He served in the Air Force. He was a jet engine mechanic for the Air Force. My grandpa was in the Vietnam War. The Vietnam War started in 1954 and ended in 1975. He joined the Air Force when he was 17. He was born October 6, 1934. He died August 1, 1983 at age 48 years. He had established in the Air Force in the year of 1951. My grandpa served in the Korean War. He was 33 when he was in the Vietnam War. My grandpa loved maple nut candy. He was exposed to Agent Orange and died from cancer. This is a veteran I know. A veteran I know by Alicia Earhart. It is with great honor to be able to write this essay about my mom who was in the Marines. She chose to go to the Marines because they had more to offer her and she wanted a challenge in life. She was a supply clerk. She enlisted in December 1991 and got out in November 1993. She enlisted at boot camp in Paris Island, South Carolina, which was three months long. One of her greatest accomplishments while in boot camp was being voted Molly Marine by the other recruits in her platoon. She attended schooling at Camp Johnson, North Carolina before going to her permanent duty station. She was on recruiting duty for a month. During that month, she traveled the state of Montana recruiting people to join the Marines. She then reported to Camp Pendleton, California. When units were deployed overseas, she filled requisitions for material required and packaged them into crates to be shipped to the troop. It was one of the best decisions she made in her life. She gained a lot of self-confidence in herself and discipline. She will always be proud to be called a Marine. The veteran I know by Jordan Ballarkey. The veteran I know is my great grandpa Raymond Qualley. He served in the U.S. Navy in World War II from October 1944 through June 1946. He started as a seaman third class and worked his way up to motor machinist third class. As a motor machinist, he took care of the fuel on the ship and stood watch to make sure everything operated correctly. Another job he had was to make smoke to blunt enemy airplanes so, so they couldn't see to bomb the ships in the harbor. The ship they sailed on had a flat bottom so it could go right into shore with the tanks that they transported during the invasion. He was right in the middle of many battles, but he didn't fire any weapons. Before he was discharged from the U.S. Navy, he helped to rebuild what the United States had bombed in Japan. On the way home, his ship stopped off at Hawaii and, and then headed on to San Francisco. The ship's engine blew out and caught fire, which caused them to drift toward Panama. A cargo ship came along to tow their ship to San Francisco Bay. He was then sent to Bremerton, Washington to be discharged from duty. After the World War II, he came back to Montana, asked my great-grandpa if he ever got scared during the war. He said no, but I was too young to know any better. I am proud of what my great-grandpa, motor machinist third class, Raymond Qualley, did for our country. A Soldier I Know by Hunter Sokolowski My grandpa Eugene Skevich was in the Navy. He is a torpedo director who shoots torpedoes on a secret torpedo submarine named the Scorpion for around four months. The weekend before it left port, my grandpa was taken off and assigned to a different submarine. All his friends were on it when it left. It was launched on December 19, 1959. A month or so after the Scorpion left port, it was sunk. The experts think that a Russian torpedo uh, had sunk it. That was a hard time for my grandpa because all his friends died on that submarine. He was brought to court to testify for the U.S. against the Russians. Today he is happily married. He is 68 years old and lives in Lynchburg, Ohio. He has seven dogs. The last time I seen him when I was four years old. He always told my mom, life will treat you as you treat it. The Job of a Soldier by Tiana Manon. Soldiers have a very important job. They have to fight for their lives. They train, work, and fight for freedom and justice. The things they do for us is amazing. They would risk their lives for us. They also fight for freedom of religion and safety for us. They would go through all that. They have strong respect for our country. One reason that people would become a soldier is to be there for their country. They also have to make many sacrifices like being away from their family. I think the hardest part would not being able to see your family. Some people don't know it, but sometimes it's the families that pay to be away from the 
people they really love and miss. I asked a Navy veteran why he joined the Navy, and he said, I did it for my country. Some people don't realize the suffering they go through for our freedom. We take our freedom for granted, but the soldiers know what it takes to get that freedom. The soldiers work really hard for our freedom, but our choice if we want to abuse that freedom or use it for only good things. The Job of a Soldier by Brooke Buxbaum. The job of a soldier is to protect our country from our enemies. When soldiers are called on duty, they risk their lives for us and our country. In the war, they use guns, tanks, bombs, etc. In the army, it isn't just soldiers. There are also doctors and nurses that take care of the wounded. There are also cooks, mechanics, etc. that serve our country. My grandfather served in the Vietnam. He said, I was one of the groups that were drafted into the United States Army in 1970. In the military, they also have tank drivers and pilots that fly the helicopters. Some of the people that were in the war don't care to talk about it because they lost some of their friends. I would think the military would be scary, but it is a good thing sometimes, but sometimes not. Our soldiers sacrifice everything so we can live in a free world. Some of the reasons why they fight are for religion, freedom, and peace. If the soldiers didn't fight for our country, the United States would not be the same at all. One of the reasons why people were in the war is because their name was picked to serve in our war, or another reason was because they volunteered to fight in our war. There were a lot of people that were in the war. Some of them got killed, but some of the lucky ones survived. When I think of army or military, I think of all the soldiers that gave their life to fight for our country. So when you meet a person that has been in the war, thank them for fighting for our country. If someone gets wounded in the war, sometimes they don't stop to help them, but sometimes they do. Usually there is a place where you